In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to create pie charts. And here's a small data table. And what this table represents is the sales record of a drugstore. So the products are candy, magazines, pain relievers, soft drinks, vitamins, ice cream, and makeup. And for each product, we have the dollar sales. And here, we're going to create a pie chart to display the numbers here. Insert in this area. So pie chart is actually one of the options. So click on the little arrow here. And now we're going to create a 2D pie chart. Not a big fan of 3D pie charts, mainly because uh, it tends to misrepresent the actual percentages because of the 3D shapes. Let's stay with 2D pie charts. Click on this. Now Excel has created a pie chart for us with all the different products. Again, we're going to edit the chart title to improve readability. So this chart is drug store sales by product. And on this chart, right click, you can add data labels and add data labels. And now it only labels the numbers. And then right click on this again. So we're going to format data labels like that. And as you can see, you can choose what you want to put in there. And in this case, we're going to check category name so that this becomes much more clear than just having the legend. We actually have the categories shown with the pie chart directly. In addition, you can decide where the label is positioned. In this case, there's no good way of placing the labels. As you can see, you do center, it's messed up. Inside, outside, best fit. So outside seems to be a little bit better. All right, we're going to stay with outside. And then you can also, by choosing a specific label and move it around a little. So you can move that around. You can enlarge this box so it stays on, on one row. As you can see here, uh, you can when you move it a little bit further away, actually there will be lines connected to the label, making them easier to read. And in this case, I'm going to drag this out, out. All right. So here you have created a pie chart. One of the problems that often have with pie charts is you have these small categories like ice cream and magazines. They tend to be very small slices of the pie chart. In this case, we don't have many categories, so this pie chart looks okay. But sometimes, let's say we have 20 categories here, then you're going to have a lot of these very, very slim slices in the pie chart. They will be very difficult to read. And uh, because of that, there is actually another option for pie chart. So let's, uh, let's do this again. Select this data and uh, then insert. Click on this little arrow in the pie chart. So we're going to do a, this option is a bar of pie. So it will help create the bars in addition to having the pie. So let's click on this bar of pie. What this bar of pie chart does is it's going to combine some of the categories so that the chart will be easier to read. However, when you look at this pie chart, uh, we have a very large area here. Excel automatically didn't combine the small categories. It was just really combined some large categories. So what we do here is when you select a pie and on the right hand side, there's format data series. You can actually right click and choose format data series here to get this menu. So what it does is it asks you how you want to split the series for this part. Currently, it's been combined using positions. It will take the last three categories, which is why we have such a large area of the chart. So 
So here we're going to change this, split the series by to percentage value. And once you choose that, it will give you a option to choose what is the threshold you want to use to combine the categories. Here we are going to split the series into this side for anything that has less than 10% on the pie chart. And this is exactly what we want. So it only combines the two small categories. Again, right click on this. We want to add data labels. Add data labels. And then right click on this again. And uh, we're going to format data labels. And we're going to add the category name to it. So now we have the chart we want going back. And then we want to place these data labels in a better location so that they are easier to read. So we're going to do this and move the candy out a little. As you can see here, the other category has been combined with the two small percentage categories, magazines and ice cream. A little bit more adjustment, right click, format data labels, and we can add a percentage to it. And then adjust the placement of the labels so that everything is easy to read. And go back to edit the chart title as drugstore sales by product enter. So as you see here, we have two types of charts, pi and borrow pi. That concludes this video.